Next to a volcanic vent in Hawaii, and not here for your life. There'll be some something called fire fountaining, like in a mall, right? The water's just fountaining up. The well, lava is just fountaining up, right? And that's the gas successfully escaping, right? That's good in geology. If the gas can get out, that means there isn't any trapping of the gas. The trouble you run into is if you trap gas. The more you trap gas, the more pressure builds, and the more likely a devastating explosion will develop. If you trap gas, you're going to get an explosion. If you allow the gas to escape, like in Hawaii, it's safe. This is called flood volcanism. It's like water just flooding over the surface. You can stand right next to an event and not have to worry for your life. So, we don't trap the gas at all. Beautiful, quiet, safe volcanic activity. Mount St. Helens, Mount Penetubo, composite cones. The viscosity is up, so we're starting to drop some gas, right? The magma doesn't want to move as much. It's going to start to hold some of this gas behind. And therefore, pressure will start to build. And if you're familiar with Mount St. Helens, the north side of the volcano left. It blew out sideways. And some people lost their lives, and it was a tragedy. Because of the gas being trapped by this medium viscosity material. But still, most of the volcano remained. I think there were 1,300 feet of the top of Mount St. Helens that, that was removed. But most of the volcano is still there. There's, you can see Mount St. Helens today if you drive out there. But this thing is not good at all. We're not allowing any of the gas to escape. We've got this stubborn rhyolite plug or cork sitting right on top of the vent. And the gas continues to build. And the pressure continues to build. So you ready? You ready for the biggest kaboom that you can even imagine? Here is the landform resulting from a rhyolitic explosion. It's a pit in the ground. We remove material. The explosion is so extreme that that rhyolite cork, as well as a good portion of the ground, is literally sent to Kansas. Explosion, extend material every direction you can. And the landform that results, this circular pit in the ground, we call a caldera. A caldera is a circular pit in the ground, like a, like a big crater, a crater on the moon, just bigger than that. Uh, there's a, a, a crater there, but that's from a meteorite impact. Oh. So that's uh, smaller than these calderas we're talking about, but it definitely has the same appearance. But uh, not in the site of a rhyolitic explosion. There hasn't been a rhyolitic explosion since human beings have been around. We haven't been able to record one of these things. It's scary stuff. The last one we know of taking place took place in this country. Any idea where? Yellowstone. Yellowstone National Park. Can you believe that? People are taking pictures and old faithful's going off. It's a real serene place. But 600,000 years ago, this was all on wheels. And this was not a place to be. 600,000 years ago. Yellowstone National Park was the site of a rattling explosion. In the middle of the continent, the magma is viscous, and as a result, the explosion is intense. The caldera is still in the park. It takes about a half a day to drive to drive across it. I come from here to Cincinnati. The rim of the caldera. It's rather subtle today, but you fill it in a little bit. The caldera is there. So this Mount St. Helens stuff, this Mount Penatubo, it's a tragedy, but it's kid stuff. It's really the baby, the baby mom. Compared to these guys. Yeah. Wait, the one that's wrong is like a nuclear explosion. Uh, it'd be tough to imagine. Yeah, there have been some some uh, comparison to the amount of energy in the amount of bombs, and I don't have the numbers off my head. And yeah, on that type of a scale, maybe even more. There's been some material from this explosion traced to the Carolinas. Yeah. We're taking a section of Wyoming and we're moving. Taking over here. If this happens in our time, it's not good. 
just a word to think about. There have been three of these in the last couple million years. And they've been occurring at about a 600,000 year interval. So, we're about to. So it's safe to visit Yellowstone. Right? There's probably going to be some, some uh, preliminary events. But in the next few thousand years, perhaps, we'll see one of these. Are there any ways to tell on the Earth if this event might happen? Uh, it's a question that people are devoting their lives to trying to figure out. There's one of these plugs developing right now in California, a place called Mammoth Lakes, just south of Yosemite Park. And in 1981, in 1981, there were a couple portions of the court that started to grow. And it got so severe that federal officials got people out of the area because they thought one of these things was going to happen. Nothing happened. We haven't seen one of these happen, so we don't know really how it works. So nothing happened, the businessmen were all mad, and then they're still all at odds with geologists, and now you're taking my business away and stuff. But, I mean, I mean your store's going to be gone if this thing happens, right? You've got to be aware. <laughs> so the answer is we really have sketchy ideas on how they work, because we don't have video tape of the thing working. And the other fascinating thing to think about that, we're going to spend next week talking more about it. Where are there other calderas that's a good question. Uh, one that I don't have good answers to. I'm mainly uh, tied to North America and Yellowstone and Eastern California, the two that I know. Let's see if I can find a new one for you next week when we talk more about it. Okay? We need to move on to get to those slides. So we will say we're okay with this and the overall volcanic stuff we've talked about. Again, the rule of class is don't pack up when we look at slides because usually there's a few ideas that I kind of like hanging that I want to get to. So, we've got about. Uh, Ten minutes left. Let's burn through these and be okay. If you guys could pull those shapes down for me, I appreciate that. If you have a shovel, flip the projector up. Thank you. Big out of one. Notice the profile. Right? Perfect shield volcano. This top, Roman viscosity, right? Very running material. The you obvious know that this volcano goes many, many miles down into the near uh, beneath the water. On the uh, uh, surface of the big island of Hawaii itself, we can see how low in the scotch this material is, right? Looking like water just coming out of these particular areas. And notice the surface of this very, very fluid basalt flow. We're looking at basalt, right? The surface looks like a bunch of rugs all pushed together, right? There's wrinkles. But the interior of the flow is moving, but the surface is cooling, right? It's in contact with the atmosphere. So if you see that, you know exactly what's going on. That's the situation today. This is the middle of Idaho. Potato fields just right over the horizon. But on this Snake River Plain, we've got the same wrinkles in the basalt. This is basalt 2,000 years old. So we know that 2,000 years ago, Idaho was like a lot. Uniformitarian. It's a place called Craters of the Moon National Monument, also in central Idaho. Uh, some Apollo astronauts went to get some training here to get ready for the moon. So, but again, you get that moon of the very, very fluid of the salt. We will be able to go jumping over the Snake River Canyon. It's a cool little time. I'm just rather young. I'm not born yet. I may be one or two. Uh, the point is, uh, evil on those guys in this basalt. Salt. So, there's more salt. Let's call birds of prey. Uh, that's a big deal. Salt and voice the item look again. Nothing with the salt in the picture. Dark colored rock. We know dark means basic. It's ignorant. Searching. Brand new island. New addition to the global map in the last 20 years. The salt. Growing from the Mid Atlantic Ridge. So the earth is alive. Uh, a couple of final pictures of the salt. This is in Yellowstone Park. We're actually a little bit of the salt. We'll talk about why that is later on. The interesting thing here is that if you look at the edge of a cooling basalt flow, or cool basalt flow, things looking like posts develop columns because the intricate cooling, again, will develop that a little bit more next week. The point is, if you go to the coast of Scotland and Ireland, you can see these edges of the basalt looking like man-made structures. 
I told you. That's a natural thing. That from salt cooling in these particular columns. Big myths and fables developed about the, how giants used to walk and scout the Ireland over this bridge and out of the lawns and like that. Um, okay. This is salt. Neville's Pulse Mine, a national mine in eastern California. Same step. Made the material cool and then you need more. Okay, let's go to intermediate. 60 percent, right? About, uh, I forget which one this is, Baker, I think. One of the Cascades in the Pacific Northwest. On a hood. In our country, right? You can drive there, you can fly there tonight if you want. Beautiful place. Just outside of Portland, Oregon. This is in Italy. Mountain called the Subies. I've heard about the Subies interrupted. This is the town of Pompeii. Famous TV movie from the last day of Pompeii and all that. In 79 AD, it was right from the place. The volcano erupted, took nothing like Yellowstone's activity, but enough to produce ash to cover the entire Roman town. The town itself is a tomb. So they dug the ash out recently, and the whole uh, Roman town has been preserved for 2,000 years. <coughs> Our famous compost cone, Mount St. Helens. We'll be able to detail the eruption uh, in a great detail on uh, next week. Uh, from the sky, Space Needle in Seattle, there's the Kingdom, uh, Mount Lanier on the horizon. Not a cloud, but again, those compound cones are very prominent and beautiful features in the Pacific Northwest. Again, Mount Lanier at sunset just north of uh, Seattle. A friend of mine sitting on top of one of the Cascades, sitting on Andesite. Back to Idaho for a second. Snake River Plain, one more time. There is a rhinolite cork in Idaho. So this one's pretty small. It hasn't developed enough pressure beneath it, but there's a possibility of it also producing some sort of an explosion. Maybe not as big as Yellowstone, but explosion. Possibly sometimes it would be difficult to see. Finally, Yellowstone Park itself, lots of trees, but this bridge here. Uh, if we would take the camera all the way around, we would follow us completely in a 360 degree circle. That's the rim of the caldera. We're in the middle of the caldera itself. If we took this picture before 600,000 years ago, there'd be this big mound of material coming out of the picture. The cork. The cork form. Around Yellowstone, there are layers of ash, right? the bits of the cork that have been pulverized and spread over the surrounding terrain. Um, on the Chalice Volcanics, also in Central Idaho, Rhyolite, Alex Rock, Rhyolite, outside of Phoenix, Arizona, continental stuff, right? Rhyolite. Finally, let's go one to the few pictures of granite, the plutonic end of the spectrum. This is it, right? Calcic magma below the surface of the ground. Acadia National Park, Maine. Uh, five o'clock in the morning, I turned to cook breakfast uh, in the Sierra Nevada Mountains, Eastern California. It's a very good slide. They had a top of the Sierra Nevadas. All throughout Eastern California, the entire mountain range, they have nothing but food on it, taking this route. Again, it's where we look. We're literally walking through, we're walking through a nightmare chamber, right? We're walking through a nightmare chamber. <laughs> <laughs> the deal here is that we get the granite to the surface only after the magma chamber is removed. Right place we see mountain ranges of nothing but granite, we're looking through magma chambers. This is the Bearship Mountains in Montana. The granite. Again, the plumbing system of volcano that's been brought to the surface. The volcano is gone, and now we're walking through the interior of the earth. More shots of that. Sausage so Mountains of Idaho, also a big batch of granite. White Cloud Peaks, Central Idaho, a big batch of granite. My sister and granite. <laughs> Finally, where's this? Remember where this is? Yeah, Yosemite National Park, this is Al Capitan, one of the famous landmarks in the park. The entire park, something like. 